if the earth shrinks to half of the present radius without any change in mass then the duration of day and night becomes a 24 hours b 12 hours c 6 hours d 3 hours as angular velocity for one complete cycle is equal to 2 pi upon t so t is equal to 2 pi upon omega so time period is inversely proportional to the angular velocity means omega and as we know that angular momentum is the simple product of moment of inertia and angular velocity so moment of inertia is equal to the ratio of angular momentum and angular velocity moment of inertia is also inversely proportional to the angular velocity means moment of inertia is also inversely proportional to the angular velocity as moment of inertia is the product of mass and square of the radius so moment of inertia is directly proportional to the square of the radius so time period is inversely proportional to the angular velocity and angular velocity is inversely proportional to the moment of inertia and moment of inertia is directly proportional to the square of the radius so time period is directly proportional to the square of the radius as if the earth shrinks to half of the present radius means if the radius of earth shrinks to its half without any change in mass then the duration of day and night becomes means if radius becomes half if the radius of earth is half then it's a present radius so by putting the value of r is 1 upon 2 so the square of r is also square on 1 upon 2 so the time period is directly proportional to 1 upon 4 as the daily rotation of earth is 24 hours so by multiplying 24 hours with 1 upon 4 so we will get the answer as 6 hours means the table of 4 on 4 is 1 times and on 24 is 6 times so the correct option is C 6 hours means if the earth shrinks to half of the present radius without any change in mass then the duration of day and night becomes C 6 hours